As they move out of the sphere of home influence into the community, young teenagers feel the need of their own kind. They begin to patronize hangouts. Because girls are physically more mature than boys of the same age, most of the advances in the early teen years are made by the girls. Their efforts are crude and childish, but they're the beginnings of experiment in sex adjustment. This kind of performance often shocks parents. The boys really do feel superior to those silly girls, but while they pretend to scorn their attention, they're secretly flattered. Nothing would make them admit this, though. Subconsciously, it takes the form of showing off to attract more of the girl's attention. Kay and Sally didn't get far with the boys, but they found a substitute, identifying themselves with a glamorous movie actress who is very popular with men gives them a satisfaction they couldn't get any other way. What about Joan? Doesn't she care for any activity or feel a need to admire and love someone? She does, but she has her own quiet way of working it out. She likes to cook all by herself without direction from mother or the confusion of family meals. Tonight, she's making candy It'll be a present for her music teacher, whom she's adored for a long time without telling anybody.